Good morning everyone, I'm Steve with Mount Comfort RV and today I want to go over some of the A-liner advantages and also go over what you might want to look for if you're in the market for an A-frame. Um, the reason I'm doing this is you don't see a lot of A-frame used on the market. It seems to me when people buy an A-frame, they're not buying an A-frame generally to upgrade to something later on. They're buying an A-frame because that is a specific way you like to camp. You don't need to be inside a lot, you want a good place to lay your head, a good towing vehicle, and you want something to last. Because when you buy an A-frame, that's what you want. And you're not looking to upgrade generally to a much larger trailer, like I said, so you want something that's gonna last you a long time. So let's get into it. First thing I want to point out is the lift assist on an A-frame. You'll notice it here. Uh, if you see this, this dog down here, he doesn't come with a video, or excuse me, come with a trailer. He's mine. His name's Fred, he's a nice dog. He only bites people occasionally, I'm just kidding. But when you lift this, all right, watch it try to fight to stay up. A-frames puts these lift assists on there, so if you have some shoulder issues or something, you're gonna find an A-frame very easy to lift up compared to some of the other ones. Snap it in over here. And I'm sure you've all seen these go before, but I am gonna open it up just for, uh, for the video purposes. Alright, back out. Alright, closing it up. A couple of things to think about is how is the trailer constructed? With A-Liner, you've got aluminum framing, the whole thing is vacuum bonded. They didn't just lay this on here, glue or anything, the whole thing's compressed, vacuum bonded up here in the A-frame part. Alright, right here. We've got As Asdell backers. There's no Luon in there to rot. What they have is this fiberglass. <coughs> it's chemically bonded to the Aztel. Water doesn't hurt it. It's puncture resistant. It's got a higher R value and it's lighter. Moving along right up here. You buy one of these so you can experience the outdoors, especially when you're in it too. You get a nice big opening window here with an A-frame, excuse me, with an A-liner. Other A-frames I've seen the window about like this and you got a lot less airflow in there. Okay? Let's move around to the front because this is where a lot of the things are different. If you look at a regular travel trailer, one of the big points is where all the seams come together in the box, especially where the side meets the skirt, there's always some type of capping there. This right here, this part here for an A-frame is where that exists. A-Liner does an excellent job by making a very large oversized molding that's chemically bonded to this and they put silicone on the outside, making any water intrusion extremely difficult right here on an A-Liner. <laughs> You'll see a lot of diamond plates um, on A-frame trailers. I like the way A-Liner does it. There are no screws attaching this diamond plate in here. What they have done is they have vacuum bonded this the same as their sidewalls up here. Eliminate your holes. <sighs> another thing to look at as I'm kind of going through this, I'm seeing other things. Your framing. A-Liner powder coats it. A lot of other ones you might notice will paint them. Actually, you might not even notice, I have a hard time telling the difference between a powder coat and a paint. What you need to do is, whatever you're looking at, check with the sales rep, call the factory, do your homework, make sure this thing's got a powder coat on it, because as you know, paint over time is going to rust, especially underneath there if it's going down the road. A-Liner uses something called Lexan glass, all right? It bounces back. Now, really cool video, look online, it's called Lexan, L-E-X-A-N. So, uh, Lexan Impact. You see it on YouTube. This guy, six millimeters of Lexan, then plexiglass, and he's going along, he's hitting them with sledgehammers and axes. He cannot get through the Lexan. It's bouncing back on him. Now, this isn't six millimeters, all right, but it is showing how tough this stuff is. Um, the only thing I have heard about Lexan that's, it's, you know, not quite as good as plexiglass is the sun does a little bit more to it, but folks, you can get an outstanding cover for a 15 foot by 7 foot pop-up or an A-frame style trailer for 150 bucks. We've all got decks, we've seen what the sun does to wheels, rubber roofs on a regular trailer. The sun tears things up, so to make your trailer last longer you should always have a cover on it so when you're not camping you're putting it over there making any type of sun 
damage to it non-existent only when you're out camping and that's not going to be nearly as much as when it's down in its cover position waiting to go out for another trip right here what a-liner is does is this is one aluminum piece extrusion here that caps this off these aren't separate pieces and then screwed together it's one piece and they've anodized it which oxidizes it and what that does it creates a protective filming over this aluminum which makes it impervious to corrosion under normal circumstances yeah, you throw in the bottom of the ocean, it might have some trouble with that. But around here, you're going to be just fine. The rain, years of use. Something to look at. If you're not going to do an A-liner, see what this is made out of. Make sure you're not going to have any rust problems, any corrosion issues. All right. Uh, let's keep moving around to the side here. We're going to the back, and I've got a tape measure here. I'm a big off-road kind of guy. I like to get out, not at the normal campgrounds at times. A-liner, you can get an off-road kit, lifts it up about a foot and a half on this model. Something to look at if you're going to do some off-road stuff, is that an option? Uh, can we look under here real quick? If you look under here on an A-liner, you're going to see a very flat bottom. You're not going to see an exposed water tank. Yes, you have your beans here, but then you have a water barrier up top. That water barrier is thermally bonded. It's not paint. It's not spray. It is a thermally bonded water barrier. Makes it more aerodynamic. Makes it very water resistant. Right, let's hop back up. Right here, we have our air conditioner unit. Okay, I'm not an HVAC technician. I'm not an electrician, but I would like to dispel some myths about air conditioners in A-frame models. You will see the heat pump style, and then you will see a standard air conditioner like this. Let me ask you something, folks. Is your air conditioner in your basement? Is it in your garage at home? It's probably, if you have central air, outside of your house and then you've got some bushes or trees built up around it so people can't see it but it's out there so it can breathe and it can have condensation that is the concept of an air conditioner that is why a liner has this out here so it has that condensation i've seen heat pumps built into them and then you have to have drain hoses or like a drip tray to make sure that water is coming out on the condensate for condensation it's not pulling up in your trailer if you do get one with a heat pump that's something you just pay attention to make sure that water is actually getting out of the trailer when the air conditioner is running another thing regarding the heat pump if you're going to boondock okay that heat pump still needs 110 to work still needs 110 volt electricity so your furnace on a trailer just needs that 12 volt battery to give it that spark to use the lp gas so if you do have a heat pump and you're going to be out when it's cold and you're going to boondock make sure you get a furnace with it and um, i've heard people say that the uh the heat pump has got to be a lot less than having an air conditioner unit in the regular furnace. Not a chance. We order them. It's not even close. The heat pump is far more expensive. And that brings me to my next point. Air conditioners go out. It's inevitable. Big motor home, big house, small A-frame trailer. Air conditioners eventually go out. You need to replace them. This, a couple hundred bucks. Heat pump right now, thousand, probably, maybe a little more. Just things to consider when you're looking at buying an A-frame trailer. Here at Mount Comfort RV, you know, it's in central Indiana. We get some good storms, some real whoppers. We don't need to use the high wind safety kit around here. We haven't. We don't like run out and put it up. But it is nice to have to give you that extra security when you're inside the trailer, and it does help. So what you do here is this is the top part of the A-frame, and this is the bottom part. It's pushing down on it. So... You move your pole, and this is an option, by the way, but we order a lot of them with that. And you put it over here, and you'll put your pin in. And what that does, it makes sure that that top one stays pressed firmly against the bottom one, not allowing any separation. Let's go inside, and we'll talk a little bit about that and uh, finish up our video. Hi, everyone. Steve with Mount Comfort again. We are inside a um, Airliner Ranger 15, and I just want to go over a few things in here to look at when you're picking out an A-frame or when you're looking at A-liners. First thing, I talked about the vacuum bonding on the outside. What A-Liner uses is block foam insulation. If you can possibly get the camera up here, folks can see. It's hard to tell. That's styrofoam in there. That is block foam insulation up in here. I used to sell one of the uh, one of the clones of A-Liner here a year ago. They came out in the market in the last few years, and I never saw that there. Now, I never found out what was in there, so that's up to you, whatever you're looking at. See what your insulation is up here. A-Liner's got block foam insulation. One thing to look at, a lot of people use this nowadays, but it's real important, LED lighting. If I was getting an A-frame, 
I would make sure I had LED lighting. Keep my cost low, keep the heat down, put less stress on the battery for boondocking. Going over here to the bed, I'm a big fan of what A-Liner does. I really like this. On some of the clones, have a bed over here. So it's only a bed. You got nothing else. All right. Or if it's a dinette over here and a dinette over here, you've got to pull out the puck, remove the table, put that, put that under here. It, if you've done it enough, you'd realize, yeah, it kind of gets annoying each night to do that, okay? That you can leave that down in the bed position too, but that's what you can do with this A-liner couch setup, which I'm a big fan of. It's very easy to do. Pull this out, put this down, put your second cushion down, tuck it in, and you're ready for bed. That's it. Now, if you want to make this a permanent bed, You've got plenty of space here to throw on a real mattress, just make this a permanent bed. But if you don't want to, you want the more sitting room during the daytime, it's very easy to make it into a bed and then turn it back into your nice couch, your nice sofa to enjoy the day. Way easier than messing with tables, pucks, and poles. All right, moving along here, I want to talk about bathroom setup. I have seen a few models, not A-liner, that if you will pan over here, please. I don't have this table set up here, but you'll notice on this side of the trailer, if you have a bathroom or toilet, it's gonna take up a lot of this compartment over here. You might get some counter space over here, but you're gonna lose a lot of your seating area. A-liner does an absolutely awesome job of tucking it in over here. And while this Ranger doesn't have one in it, you can get the picture and check them out, check out the floor plans online. Your toilet and your shower is gonna be here. This is gonna go down, so you're gonna still have all of, your, uh, all of your counter space if it's not in use, but the biggest thing is it doesn't take up any seating area in your coach. I've seen them where it's just a dinette and then your bathroom configuration over here and you're always dropping the dinette into a bed. You might not wanna do that. Um, just something to look at. <clears throat> now, I think this is my last thing, but <sighs> jumping on the floor a little bit, what A-Liner uses is what they call Performax 500 flooring. What this is, this is a flooring and they have soaked it in resin to make it water resistant, waterproof if you will. Have you ever felt a piece of pressure treated, uh, pressure treated wood in your hand than a non piece of pressure treated wood? That pressure treated weighs a lot more because it's been soaked in that resin to give it its water resistant material. That's what they've done here. So you've got a nice thick piece of resin soaked structure board that's gonna do great against the water, especially with that thermal, uh, thermally bonded water barrier underneath. So um, I think that's all I've got. There's probably a lot more that I've missed, but when you're all looking at A-frames, thinking about what you wanna get, last the long term, um, take a look at this. I hope it helps you out. If you've got any questions, please respond to the video. Contact me at Mount Comfort RV or any of our other guys here, and they'll be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy camping.